Welcome back. In this video, we shall be creating our first React app. And the way to do that is to pull up your command prompt or terminal if you're using a Mac and run this command. So I'll be pulling up my command prompt now and I'll head over to the desktop with the cd command and I'll run this command npx create react app my app and this will take a few minutes depending on the strength of your connection so let me explain this command for all of us to understand properly npx create react app is the actual command and that's the command used to create react apps and this my app here is the name of my app and you can give it whatever name you want to give it you could call it our app you can call it their app you can call it whatever you want to give it. so when the installation is complete you'd have something like this on your command prompt so the next thing we'll have to do is cd to the folder we just created which is my app now we are in the my app folder now the next thing to do is to run our server and to run our server we'll say npm start and this is going to start the development server react comes with a lightweight server for development so i don't want to open this in my internet explorer and I'll go to my Chrome browser and I'll say localhost port 3000 just as we have it right here you can see it says localhost port 3000 so so with this we have created our first react app successfully now let's head back to our command prompt and let's break the server by saying control C and type in right there and let's open up our directory in VS Code. And you do that by saying code space full stop. This is going to open our files in our VS Code. So let's hit enter on our keyboard. And our VS Code is open with all our React files that we downloaded for our app. Now to explain what we have here, the first folder we have here is the node modules folder. You may not have to touch anything in that folder for now. The next folder is the public folder. The public folder has the index.html file, which is the most important file we shall be dealing with in this folder. And also, the most important folder for this course will be the SRC folder. This is where we have all of the JavaScript files and our CSS files located. We shall not be using the default JavaScript files given to us by React. So what's going to happen is, we are going to delete everything in the SRC folder and be careful not to delete the SRC folder itself but if you do that you can create an SRC folder in the parent directory and still follow along now let's delete everything we have here in the SRC folder let's move that to the recycle bin and now we have nothing in our SRC folder in the next video we shall start creating our own custom react app by creating our own files and writing our own JavaScript and JSX code from scratch. For now, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share.